How goes it, Planet Poke people? It's me, Diogen Z, here with another edition of Pokemon of the Week. This week we step into NU territory with a grass poison defensive wall named Vile Plume. Vile Plume doesn't have an impressive move pool, so even though it has a high base of 100 special attack, it won't be able to be used too greatly as a special attacker, plus when you calculate the pitiful speed of 50, it doesn't really work. Now, you can do a variant with it to up its special attack capabilities in the way of switching out its ability to chlorophyll, which will double its speed to a base of 100 in the sun, but even then, you still have to deal with the limited move pool, and at that point you would consider attaching a life orb. So instead, what I'd like to do with this set is to have it as a defensive supporter. This thing is great at taking physical hits, so I'm going to maximize its regular defense, its physical defense, not special. And we're going to have a bold nature on it to increase that naturally. Effect Spore, unlike Chlorophyll, doesn't give you any sort of speed boost, but what it does do is give you a better walling capability, but with an added 10% effect of possibly putting your opponent to sleep, burning them, or poisoning them once they attack with physical contact. So once you wall them with this physical wall, there is even the slight chance that they may get a status disruptor. On the move pool side of things, what you can depend on are its two main stab attacks. Giga Drain, great, because not only is it a stab, but it gets back some of that vital HP, which is important for a wall-type supporter. Sludge Bomb is the secondary stab move, since it's a grass poison that will be effective. And Aromatherapy is what this set focuses on. Now, this flower doesn't just look pretty, it smells wonderful too. Aromatherapy allows for your team to have a fresh reset on any status changes such as poison, fire, or sleep by sending this poke onto the field. So, say your sweeper was hit with sleep and because of black and white sleep mechanics, you don't know when it'll wake up and you don't want to waste any health points leaving it out on the field exposed to your foes. Switch it back, send out Vile Plume, and Aromatherapy will take care of it all. So this is especially useful if you build up a bunch of different status changes on not just one but multiple pokes. But if you're looking to get your sweeper back into the fray fast, then you might want to consider switching to Vile Plume as soon as possible. Now Moonlight and Synthesis are interchangeable based on what kind of team you're running. If you plan to use a team that more focuses on Rain Dance or maybe doesn't focus on weather at all, if you don't focus on weather at all, Synthesis or Moonlight would be both a viable option, but if you are using a sunny day team, go with Synthesis because it will be more powered up just as Moonlight is better in the rain. Sleep Powder is a great way to disrupt foes from attacking Vile Plume and ending your wall supporter. This isn't the most courageous wall in that we're not investing anything in special defense, although a base of 90 special defense is nothing to turn your nose up at. So it has plenty of weaknesses that could take it off the field, especially if a psychic were to come on and use a powerful special attack. That's why you need moves like Moonlight and Synthesis to recover some health, but Sleep Powder is also an excellent choice. Do beware of the Vital Spirit Magmar though. That's something to take into consideration, a main weakness of Vile Plume that will not be stopped by Sleep Powder, so it's best at that point to switch to a Water Poke or something better to wall that Magmar. And if you're looking to be a bit more offensive, maybe you do want to take a stab at the Special Attack variant. I did not make a special set for it because, as I said, I think that Vile Plume's main purpose, its niche in NU, is definitely going to be Aromatherapy. But Hidden Power Rock will take care of three out of four of Vile Plume's weaknesses with it being special attack and this is the IV set that you need to take a look at when you're doing breeding. This way you can get Hidden Power Rock. And that's about all I have to say for this set, Vile Plume. It seems at first to be a not so great Pokemon but once you invest a little effort value training into its defense stats and find out that its niche truly is aromatherapy, it's not meant to be a pure wall but a supporting wall, then it will work well on your team. So let me know what you think of Vile Plume if you've ever used it before. Leave a comment. 
I'm Diogen Z, reminding you to subscribe to Planet Poke for this and all other excellent Pokemon related content, and check out my channel, youtube.com backslash Diogen Z, for awesome video game LPs and my effort value expertise guide, yes, where I tell you how you can raise these invisible mathematical calculations called effort values into being a victory for your metagame team. See you next week. Thank you.